Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a pen that is kind of uh, making me feel conflicted, but I still want to talk about it because I've seen it a lot on Instagram and I think it's interesting to see that this pen has been copied. And I'm talking about the Jinhao 80, uh, which is a sort of copy of the Lamy 2000. And I say sort of because it's not complete. Anyway, let's switch a shot and actually go look at two pens, Jinhao 80 and the Lamy 2000. All right, I have both pens right here. And as you can see, they are very similar in their shape. Now, I am a big fan of the Lamy 2000. And most of you know this, uh, I talk about this pen quite often. And when I saw this popping up on social media, I was like, hmm, interesting. Uh, I don't know if I approve or disapprove or whatever. Anyway, I got one for research purposes and it is here. And um, this is the Jinhao 80. I'm dropping it, I don't know why. And I got it in a dark blue color, which is showing up black, but it's like a very, very dark blue. And it's similar to the color that Lamy brought out as their anniversary one. I don't have one. It was sold out very quickly and very expensive. And next to it, I have the Lamy 2000 in black Macrolon. The shape of these pens are super, super similar. Um, I would say that they are almost a copy. The Jinhao is a little longer. Um, and I would say that the finish, even though it looks quite quite good. It's not totally the same. It doesn't feel as well made, which makes sense because I paid $8 for this pen. Um, it doesn't feel as well made. There's like stripes on it, like in the Macrolon one, but it isn't like straight and like perfectly finished. Um, of course, there is no piston knob on this pen. This is a cartridge converter pen as opposed to the Alami 2000, which does have a piston knob Albeit, it's very, very hard to see. It's right there. Um, this is my vintage one, so it's extra shiny. Um, but yeah, no piston knob here. This is a gold hardware pen. It has that silvery thing on the end. Um, um, modern Lamy 2000s have just a silver thing. This one has an L on it because it is a vintage version. Um, but yeah, that's similar. And the clip is also quite, quite similar. I would say the Jinhao one sticks out a little more um, and has more of a pointy thing at the bottom to clip onto your shirt. Well, the Lamy 2000 has like a nubbin within the clip and is less uh, annoying, if I'm honest. Um, it is a very, very close copy, like this. However, when I uncap it, you'll see there is a big difference, and that is that the Jinhao does not have that nice hooded slash inlaid, it's a hooded nib, it's not an inlaid nib, it's a hooded nib, that the Lamy 2000 has. Grip is totally different. Um, for the Lamy 2000, this is completely smooth. Um, it is like a perfectly smooth body experience, while this one has a grip that is somewhat separate from the barrel. Um, there is a gold trim ring here that separates the section from the barrel and it has a regular Lamy type style nib on it. And I say Lamy style, uh, this is actually a Lamy nib because I switched them out. Uh, I'll tell you more about that later. Um, yeah, cartridge converter. Uh, it came with a cartridge, uh, with a con converter. It's not a Lamy converter, it's just a random converter. Um, gold threads here. And it feels okay. Um, one thing that you can't see, but I can tell, is that the Lamy 2000 is a much heavier pen. Which is funny, because the Lamy 2000 is definitely a very light pen that I love to post because of this. Um, it is a light pen that um, feels really good in my hand when I post it. 
This one is even lighter. And I ran into a thing, and that is that it doesn't really post very well. Like, you can post it, but it's not very secure, so I haven't really done it. And I feel like if I post it, like, deeper, if I push it on more, um, the pen will get damaged. The nib. Now, this um, pen came with a Lamy style nib, uh, not a Lamy nib, and it was gold colored, and it was a fine nib, wrote like an extra fine, and it was very, very dry. It was extremely generic. Uh, and I uh, wasn't really enjoying writing with it, so I decided to try and put a Lamy nib on there, and it works. So this is just the original feed in this pen, and I put the Lamy, I believe this is a kanji nib, on here. Which is lovely, and now it is actually really fun to write with. It wasn't actually that fun to write with before, I didn't really love it that much. Um, not that it was a bad nib, like it was just not exciting, it was very dry and um, it worked, but not to my liking. So that is a thing you can do with this pen, and it might be what you would do with this pen. So it's a Lamy copy uh, with different elements from different pens um, that now has its own Lamy nib on here. I am conflicted because it is somewhat a copy. Um, it's not a full copy, but when you close it, it is basically a one-on-one -on -one copy. And that bothers me because the Lamy 2000 is such an iconic design. Now I've talked about this before with other pens like uh, the Pilot Capitalist being copied or the H3 being copied, and I am also conflicted about those, but because this is like I love the Lamy 2000. Uh, it just fe feels closer to home or something. But yeah, make up your own mind about whether you think this is a bad thing or a good thing or a whatever thing. Um, I just don't know how to like make a decision about it. Um, yeah, it's a look-alike, that's for sure. Now I'll do a writing sample, um, even though it's not the actual um, nib that was on here. I'll still do a writing sample. I'm not going to put the old nib back on because it's really unremarkable and that's just what you can expect. It was about eight dollars for the whole pen um, and it was not like it was just not a great nib. Anyway this is unposted. This is posted very very um, wiggly posting so I'm not doing it but yeah you can do you can do it if you're careful. Very long pen like this. Um, let me see actually before the writing sample how posted they compare. Um, they're actually very similar still. Uh, yep, very similar. Lamy 2000 is just differently weighted than the fake, fakey, that fakey, fakey. I don't know how to call it. Anyway, Jinhao 80. With a, I believe it's a kanji nib, a Lamy nib. And it's really fun to use like this. Um, with this nib on there, it's it's a really good, good writer. All right. Uh, the ink is Iroshizuku Momiji. I finally have my Momiji back. My parents are visiting. Um, they're currently actually in Florida traveling a little bit but they brought some of my inks, like, I think they brought like eight inks and Momiji is one of them. And I really love it. Feed keeps up fine. Um, and uh, this nib, of course, is much broader than the fine it came with, but it does well. Um, and it's very, very, very enjoyable like this. But yeah, very light, look alike. Um, had to swap the nib. Anyway, Hope you found this interesting. I wonder what you guys think of um, this being a thing. Uh, we see more and more copies popping up um, or lookalikes and just would love to hear your opinion. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.